Okay, part three of my fire extinguisher collection. All right, let's go. First one on the line is a 2.5 kilogram Chubb fire extinguisher from 2003. I got this with like six other fire extinguishers. Um, it is one of the more older versions as it has got a red handle. It is also missing a tag, that's why it has got rope around the pin. I've also used rope to keep the hose to the container or the canister to itself because it did not come with a hose holder. I know somebody or a couple of people who have this this kind of extinguisher at their house. And that's from maybe 97 and they haven't changed it. But it's the same company and it's it's like literally it looks like the same thing. It might as well be the same thing. And as it says, it says Australian made. It, there are ones in UK which look different, but this one's Australian made. We have these models in New Zealand just with a silver handle. And they're quite common around New Zealand. But um, let's, get, let's go to the next one. Next one up is a 1.5 kilogram dry powder fire extinguisher that is branded by Flame Fighter or something rather. And it has the Wormold sticker on it. And that's probably because the people who serviced these things was worm old and I've already used it when I bought it from the guy it was expired um the hose does the hose holder is a bit weirder or something like it, the hose is it's, it's not really it doesn't have the best grip on the on the hose the hose holder but this is the only kind of this model of fire extinguisher that I have. I don't have any other bigger ones that look like this. But, um, it, it is, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, it was like 71 bucks when, like, brand new. I didn't buy it for 71 bucks, but it was brand new. When it was, if it was brand new from the store, it'd be like 71, 72 bucks or something, or maybe 80 bucks or something. But, um, I used it pretty good, um, not too bad for a fire extinguisher. You can, fire extinguisher. You can, you can see these things around in New Zealand, and in like shops or something. But um, let's let's go to the next one. Next up is a two point five kilogram fire extinguisher. This one is styled to look to probably look like the first alert, like a model of first alert fire extinguisher. It looks, the handle looks similar to the design that that first alert, whichever one I'm talking about, maybe like Home Pro or something, that, that, that extinguisher that I, the Home Pro one or whatever it's called, has got like a similar handle to it. Um, but if I'm correct, it's in black and this is in silver. You can, if you can see, there is a bit of rust on the nozzle piece at the top. Um, it does have a bit of a looks to have like a bit of a conical hose or nozzle or something as it goes it looks like it goes outwards at the like tip of the nozzle of the hose um i bought this with six other fire extinguishers as well this is one of them that came with the six other fire extinguishers um it has some nice bumps on the lever for grip uh, it came used as you can see it's the yellow needle is Excuse my voice crack. The yellow is in the in the red zone. The yellow needle's in the red zone. Um, again, I put like rope around it as the pin didn't have a tag, obviously because it was used. And um, it again, it is rusting a little bit. It is fairly heavy, but is again it. it I bought it with a six other fire extinguishers, so I'm gonna keep it for now. I might decide to maybe put it on display with my other ones but or I might not it might be quite good being on display and all of that but um I'd say it'd, it'd do a pretty good job if I was to able to use it but I haven't used it yet or I might not be able to, to do it at all due to it's being out of well being out of pressure or being low in pressure so let's go to the next one next up is a 1.5 kilogram fire extinguisher if I'm correct I've already used this due to it not having a tag and it being in the red zone um, I used a rubber band to keep the hose together to the canister of course because it doesn't have a hose holder for some reason it doesn't have a hose holder um, this is like a smaller like a, a different 
1.5 kilogram frog swim shoes have got different designs, but the handle design is quite similar to one to one that I had that I got rid of. I don't have that anymore, but I used to have it. And the hose, you could say it's a bit built different, like it's made of this material, if I'm correct, it's made of material that is not very flexible, but is, you know, if it, if it wasn't, if it was working, it'd, it'd get the job done, I'd say. Um, you can see it says, it says um, 2A20BE, and it would be a pretty good fire extinguisher to have in service, I'd say, but I, I've already used it, or either that, or it came like this, I mean, I remember very well, but, who knows, but, um, I didn't put a rope around it this time, I just left it, the pin as it is, for some reason, this might be one of the ones that has a tendency of the pin falling out, but, I don't, I probably couldn't care anymore, like, I don't really use this for anything, Apart from now it's been used in this video, but um let's let's get to the next one. Okay, on our next one, we've got a 2.3 kilogram chub fire extinguisher. Also it doesn't come with a hose holder and didn't come with a tag. Still in the green. Um has been clicked on the on the maintenance tag. Is in not really good condition, as you can see. Uh, again I used a rubber band to keep the hose to to the canister itself. If you can see, there's a little bend in the hose. It might be one of those ones that aren't very flexible again. Um, this one is newer; it's from 2017. It does have a silver handle compared to the other one, which had a red handle. Um, but this one actually has, well, actually both of them have. They have this green pin retainer that's actually attached to the like in, in between the, the nozzle, like the hose insert, and the like hose nozzle. Um, twisty, whatever, twisty part, whatever it's called, itself, it, I did buy it from a guy, uh, it was like 10 bucks, it came along with another one, that was also 10 bucks, but it was, they were both together, they were 10 bucks, one of them, one of them, one of these each, that before, before they were, well, they still are, well, actually, no, they might not be anymore, because the dude has moved out of his home, but, or out of his apartment, but, um, if I was to buy one of these by itself, it'd be 10 bucks, but I got this with another one, both for, ten, both for this, like, both all together for 10 bucks, so pretty much I got one free, pretty much, and, um, haven't used it, and I probably won't use it at all, it does have a bit of bird poop on the, um, tag, if you can see that, um, and this is, I have I may have seen one some of these on online for sale. And all and all excuse my voice crack again. But this is just one of the two point three ones that I have. But um let's let's go to the next one. And our next one is a two point three kilogram fire extinguisher. It looks quite similar to the one that was shown before. And that's because they're pretty much like the same fire extinguisher. They've come off the same company. Well, the, like the the shape of it. Um, again, it's been the hose has been held held by like a rubber band. Doesn't didn't come with a hose holder. This one did come with a tag though, whereas the other one didn't. Still, again, still in the green. And this might be one of the ones that has a green, not a green, uh, a brass valve or something. And this might be one of the more sturdier ones. It is a bit dirty, a bit dusty, but um, I'm this is just part of one of the part of the ones that I have in my collection that sat next to the one that was shown before. Uh, I just keep this in my closet with the rest of them, and not not all of, all of them. All of, some of them are outside, but some of them, most of them, are in my closet. But um, I'm probably not going to go over to this too much. So let's go to the next one. Okay, for the next one, we've got a worm old, might be a 2 kilogram fire extinguisher. This one's pretty clean. It's from 2013 or something. Still tagged, still in the green. Hose is quite thin, but flexible. This one's actually flexible. You can see it's got a black bracket. I quite like that black 
bracket with the um silver like the silver instructions and all of that it has been clicked but again i bought this I, I bought this off this dude that i bought those two other ones before off off of um i did t this was from a wall because it did come it did have two like wool inserts or something in the bracket i just unscrewed those out now i don't have them this does come one of those brackets that is quite hard to pull out of for some reason but this is one of the more nicer wormwood ones that i have um and at some point maybe who knows maybe next monday i'll be i might be getting more of the uh, more fire extinguishers i might not who knows uh, you'll probably see it on my Instagram if I do. But, um, okay. Anyway, let's get to the next one. Okay, this is the last one. Or at least it might be of this video. This is just a, might be a 2.5 kilogram worm mold ABC or ABE fire extinguisher. Still tagged, still in the green, still has its maintenance tanks tag that has been clicked. This is the one of the ones that you might see quite commonly in New Zealand due to this might be one like Wormold's main one, even though Wormold has made plenty and plenty and plenty other m shapes of the fire extinguishers. But my old, more than my old intermediate school had one of these, and they're actually let's say quite nice. Um. I do have quite a lot of worm old ones, or some worm old ones, but um, it comes in a bracket, didn't come with any wall inserts or anything, and it's just like a standard fire extinguisher and all. But um, anyway, if if I was, I'll, I'll get to the end now. If you enjoyed this video, do please consider subscribing or liking or leaving a comment or rating. I, it doesn't matter what you do. I'm not going to force you. Of course, it's up to you. But if you want my Instagram, it's shown in my somewhere in my account of some sort. And you get posts about fire extinguishers, cars, just any equipment, maybe Lego sometimes, or just things that are emergency equipment and all, but um, if you did enjoy this video, again please do consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment or rating, and uh, have a great rest of your day.